Are we rolling? We're rolling. Right. Hello, everybody. Hello. Happy Pascha. Yeah, Christ is risen. He's risen indeed. We're just checking in with a quick one. We're feasting. Yeah, we're feasting. It's Pascha. It's bright week. It was in a bright week, but we haven't had, actually got a chance to really celebrate just the two of us. No. So we're doing it now on Bright Friday. And what have we got? We've got some treats. We're going in with something real special. Yeah. So uh, Dion really generously, really kindly is providing the smokes tonight, which is his last two Cohiba. 2012? Really? Yep. Yikes. So they're, they're, they're 12 year, year Goldies. Yeah, 12 year, 12 year age. And they have been hydrating in the humidor for the last they couple have. months, right? They have. With, yep. the, with the Bovita pack. Yep. So they're going to be really ready to Just go. Nice. What are we washing and, it down with? We're washing it down with, and Anthony from uh, Bourbon Near Fight might have something to say about this, the Whistle Pig Small Batch Rye, 10 years. So this is a delicious... Love me some rye. Yeah, and I've been saving it, and there's actually a bit less in it than I thought there was, <laughs> but we're going to share it, and um, it seems like a fitting, uh, you know, pairing yeah. with, the, with the Esplendidos, and, you know, I'm not... I'm not flexing or anything. I am flexing. <laughs> God bless. But I checked the current retail price for these, and these are like 120 a pop. Is that the 2012 ones? Well, I didn't check the age to be honest, but like, no, what, like, I mean, aged, a bit, yeah. aged more, yeah, yeah, definitely. But the Esplendidos current, wow. and that's a good point because you know Cubans come in notoriously young, right? Yeah. So, but the current market value of an Esplendido is 120. So with age on it. No. I, hear, I hear funny things about um, Cuban construction for the younger cigars as well, just at the moment. Yeah, I mean, especially after the Hong Kong takeover. Right. And, you know, in recent years, the construction isn't tip top, and, yeah. and the new world has really, really, you know, carried the torch on that. Yeah. But if we're talking like 12 years old, I think we should be good. Should I be think good. we're good, man. Yeah. And I'm, I've been looking forward to it all week. So, same. That's, what, that's how we celebrate today. And also, on. I am gonna if if we've got you know room for dessert, <laughs> yeah. we're gonna go in some with cake. yeah yeah for cake. We're gonna go in with some Jermaine's brown flake, which I'm really excited about. I picked up from uh, Scarborough, the uh, the Black Swan shop. So just just explain to the guys in the states and, and abroad where what Scarborough is, where Scarborough is. Yeah, so Scarborough is is like a seaside town in North Yorkshire. So if you're sort of from the Midlands or like or the you know, like the north, that's it's like a popular kind of beach destination. Yeah, it's like really kind of classic it's the northeast coast. Yeah, 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 and it's and it's like the whole like aesthetic with the arcades and the you know the, the candy floss and the donuts and the fish and chips, and it's it's just south of Whitby, which uh, obviously is where Dracula landed. Right, um, the Abbey. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, with the Abbey, Saint Hilda. Yeah, yeah and. Um, that's where they held the Whitby Synod. Yeah, right exactly. And bro, what was the dude's name? Cademon? Cademon? Cademon, yeah. Yeah. Yes, and Cademon. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah so that's um, so it's, it, that's all on the same coast. But Jermaine's, as you'll probably know, it's a, it's a British um, tobacco house from Jersey. Yeah. So it's only just British. <laughs> yeah, kind of only just. <laughs> slightly French. Slightly French. <laughs> garlic. Yeah. But, but, but yeah. Still, it's still okay. It's still, you're okay. Mon Dieu. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's fish and chips with garlic. Yeah, That's yeah. So, um, but, I mean, if you've had the chance to smoke any Germains, you will know about the quality of Germains. And it's the brown flake. So I was telling Dion that I went in and straight away asked for the rich dark flake, which I had the great fortune of managing to grab a 15 gram sample a couple of years ago. And I, as soon as I took it home and licked it up, I, you know, wished that I'd bought I more. 150. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But um, I got the brown flake and I lit it up and I was really, really, you know, pleasant. I was really pleased with it. Such a rich, cakey kind of smoke just a tin note it, it's like yeah. tin note's beautiful it, it's like it's like a billionaire's condor is yeah. what it kind of strikes me as yeah really rich it's got the it's got the virginias in there obviously and the kentucky yeah um it's pressed and aged and um so <coughs> if we have got room we're gonna we're gonna have a little bit of that, that. that sounds yeah good. that sounds good I've uh, just to get us started um i've still yeah. got a little bit of um well, i've still got plenty actually of uh of some 
Bel Air Bioska, you can tell it's been uh, in the freezer. Some um, Bel Air Bioska um, vodka, which I got for Pasca. Um, so um, it was being in the. Oh, it's lovely. In the Absolutely. Edition. So we just had a uh, had a little snifter, um, and just outstanding, like top quality, clean, yeah, fresh. It's got a kind of a citrusy hit. I found it's subtle with the with the birch birch sap. Yeah. I thought. A bit yeah. of a so I, I kind of looked in. I looked into it a little bit, and it's made with the Siberian spring water. I understand. Yeah, and the birch sap. Yeah. So it's uh, which it's is a spring thing, right? It's, yeah, it's, and it's a really, it's a really Russian and Baltic kind of a tradition yeah. thing to do to tap the birch trees. That's right. And get the sap, and it's a really refreshing, bright kind of taste, and, yeah. and it really complements the. The vodka is beautiful. Yeah. So it uh, compliments the vodka in such a way. It's in such, <laughs> such a way. <laughs> so so we, we're all pretty much set up. Um, that will last us probably two glasses uh, yeah, and then between we, us. And then we've got, we're going to polish off the rest of the Old faithful vodka. Buffalo Trace. Yeah, can't, can't beat it. I have got a bottle of uh, Woodford Reserve rye on the way, but it's sadly not going to be here until tomorrow. So it's going straight into the Woodford Canada. Reserve. Woodford Reserve. And yeah. it's the rye. It's the rye. Yeah. I've never had that. So it'll be a it'll be a first for me as well. Yeah. Um, but we'll, um, we'll 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 fire that up when uh, when that's in the decanter. Nice. So. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with a straight cut on this one. Yeah. And I'll go with a punch. Let's do this right. Reasonable, reasonable draw actually. Yeah. Good draw on that. Can I have my camera? Mm. I'm gonna wet the foot. I'm gonna slobber all over this thing. <laughs> yeah. A little chomp. Mm. Mm. And I've still got some of the Cohiba cedar. cedar wood mm. to light with, so we'll give it a little toast. Just a little toast there. There we go. Yeah, I've got that mixed in. I'm going to go for it right ahead. And then we'll, um, we'll break a little bit of cedar off for a match. A little taper. I can try it like that. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Mm. Oh. Mm. oh yeah. The truth about English Pasco will shock you. <laughs> Watch till the end. Yeah. <laughs> mm. yeah, so I've toasted that foot real nice. I'm gonna go in with the cedar as is tradition. Just a little touch of that thing on that. Straight away, the classic Cuban flavour. Mm. Unmistakable. Sandy, mm. sandy soil. Sweet and creamy. Mm. Grassy a little bit. Yeah. Beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and smoke these down. Yeah. And um, yeah, so we just want to check in and um, some more content coming up. Yeah, some more, more live streams. Some more live streams. I'm going to go back in with the live streams. Definitely. Yeah. We have, we have been. I know we sort of we said we'd do one every two weeks. But we have we have been busy with it. You know, with the Holy Week's kicked our off on it a little bit. Yeah, exactly. With the you know Holy Week and Pascha, so um, that kind of took precedence, obviously. But you know, hopefully, I think we can shoot for two weeks. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to pour the rye. And uh, we're gonna get in, we're gonna enjoy this. So God bless and enjoy whatever you're smoking, and um, we'll see you soon.